learning how to sing is a difficult process and when you take voice lessons you end up doing all of these odd vocal exercises and warm-ups. But the reason I bring it up is uh, when I do the voice exercises I sound like I don't know how to sing at all. And I'm an okay singer but so I have this 10 minute uh, warm-up exercise. I think it's called Dr. Dan's. Yeah, Dr. Dan's 10 minute singing warm-up for male voices. But I'll just do a couple seconds of it and you'll hear how I sound like I don't know how to sing. Here we go. It's time to sing. Yeah. 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 Etc. And someone who hasn't taken voice lessons or maybe didn't encounter it, you might as a as a beginning singer go online and download a uh, warm-up exercise like the one I was just playing part of and based on your experience trying to mimic what they're asking you to do vocally you might think well I must be a crappy singer it'll either confirm your bias against yourself or it'll put a devil into your ear and making you think you're not good so uh, and prove that I sound at least better singing Willie Nelson's song than than the voice exercises. This is Young Love. I forget who did it. 
but it's one of these super dramatic, emotional, lots of string songs from the late 50s, early 60s. In any case, there we are. They say for every boy and girl is just one love in this old world And I, 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 I know I've found mine The heavenly touch of your embrace tells me no one will take your place forever She got away from me. Slipped out. I mean, she slipped away. <laughs> that was a vaudeville joke by somebody. He was telling about meeting a bunch of women, and then he said, I slipped out. No, I mean, I slipped away. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Cable third fret. Okay. I used to hear this at home. I thought it was done or written by Jim Reeves. But I think Jim Reeves got it from Ray, baby, Ray Charles.
my heart is beating so and anyone can tell you think you know me well but you Great Ray Charles, we're at 11 minutes. What else could we do? We'll do one more. This, I think, is by Chris Isaacs. I think he did the theme song for The Sopranos. I did a bad, bad thing. He always has a lot of echo on his, all his instruments and his voice, I think. It's very echoey. I didn't like Sopranos. It was sort of like mob people with touchy-feely going to see a psychiatrist thing. But there you go. I'm a snob. Okay, this is The Wicked Game. stops in his version but the words say it stops there so